Hello everyone, Romaniac here. Uh, today we're gonna do Celts and we're gonna go for Good the mission you. liberating the village of Saïs. Until we so meet all we're gonna need for that is uh, speed. Speed is the uh, the element here. Okay, so I'm gonna go fast villagers to run up to make some markets. I'm gonna make like seven or eight markets. Uh, I'm gonna go for seven. It's enough for me. And then um, I'm gonna go for infantry because obviously infantry bonus damage and wards. And then I'm gonna go for a bit of speed increase on the villager, training time, damage, health, health um, for infantry and then damage for infantry and of course decreased cost of buildings. So without further ado, let's go and start the village of Saiz. Oh, uh, actually, we could look at the loadout. So I have Zahak Axe, which also does bonus building damage. Personally, I prefer it for that purpose. We have Oifa's Vengeful Warhorn. So if uh, Geese, if you watch this, please don't put a dislike button on this, just for the fun. Uh, and then we have the Verchi Ganod. Change uh, Torix's copper or war paint. Uh, uh, personally, I prefer to use the building, building damage because the woods are already super fast hitting and can kill everything. Um, it's just this way you kill the buildings faster, and I prefer personally to take out buildings super fast earlier. So, now we're gonna start this mission. So what you need to do is bring three over here, build a town center, uh, make some villagers and send these guys basically over here. Uh, and as well I'm gonna use some towers to quickly take out the uh, camels so that I can get some early food. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I usually put number seven on my um, camp. My uh, uh, markets. And um, this way, with the two villagers at the same time, I can. Make the markets really fast. Mm -hmm. And I love the music on this cells. It's just so upbeat. Uh, Early. Mm, maybe that's also a bit early, but... Well, and we need some houses so that we don't get population lock, because we're going to get population lock very fast with this build. We still, it's not uh, like they're the best at siege, but they also have yeah. siege, okay. so might as well make some siege, just because it makes life a bit easier than than not making any siege. So, and as well as that, because I have nanos anyway. I like to make a dock here and gather a little bit of stone and get this uh, 200 fish. And um, 
right now it should be I'm gonna get to close to 100 population on um, villagers and then yeah should be fine one more time perfect we're getting the gold in fast now okay super look at that and we'll <laughs> see how fast we're getting population lock ah uh, probably shouldn't build these over here because I prefer to build my barracks over on this side or oh, this way Okay, that should be sufficient. And we want to pick up some of these upgrades because... Why not? Uh, uh, and we're going to go to the next stage now. And with the other town center, I'm going to build these upgrades, Loom and Sovita. And so on. And there you go. We're gonna... We should have enough now. We can start focusing on making these upgrades. Um, I might actually... I might use spears as well. Uh, because... With the load up on the spears, I'm just gonna do the camels. So as you see here at the moment, I have... 7.21 versus camels and with the upgrade I'm gonna get approximately 9 point something and I don't remember the exact percentage but 9 versus a <laughs> um, unit is gonna be powerful in every se every sense of way and we're gonna get the armor is up and running and oh yeah perfect and we can now advance to the next stage again uh, whatever I would rather first somebody to put this speed on the road. Yep, perfect. And okay, and we're gonna make a part hall to make all the upgrades as well. And we're gonna go make a castle here. I'm gonna put this at number five. Uh, and it should be enough now and the dock make actually some fishing uh, we don't really ah we don't really need much of anything to be honest it's enough I uh, don't need this upgrade to be fair I don't need a lot of stuff but you're gonna get a lot of resources so really it doesn't matter but the resources. What matters is the speed of building your barracks. So build as many as possible. And what you would actually want as well is some um, priests. So we're gonna go for this upgrade, this upgrade. And as you can see, we, we went for 149, 150, so we don't actually need the upgrade on the um, caravans, because I prefer to get all the gold up front early on. And I go for like about 20 barracks, something like this here. Uh, and you know what, I'm not going to... This upgrade is taking far too long here. And I'm gonna go for one priest and some deer here. And I'm gonna call... I'm gonna make... And I'm gonna make one stone thrower. Ah, uh, no. Upgrades. But it doesn't matter. And now we have 20, 19 Brax is enough for me, to be honest. It should be sufficient. Okay, and what we do want, we want to pick up this upgrade as well. And I think the upgrades in the armory can be done now as well. 
Perfect. So, and I'm gonna mark this guy with nine. And the reason I make the priest is because he has these um, rights, which just significantly make everything faster and better. So it's kind of like uh, not doing it would be kind of just leaving power on the table. And we are population locked because I didn't make the third town center, so that's slow. And you know what? Just because uh, this is actually sufficient. Uh, at the moment, we're gonna go and even though we don't have all the upgrades, we don't actually need them. We just need to take out his barracks and his buildings. And, his and that should be lovely now. We want to do this as fast as possible. And we're gonna keep sending waves of these units here. And... What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and take out all of his barracks and all of his buildings. And uh, I forgot to deploy this guy. So it's not... Yep, perfect, perfect, good, good to go. And actually we're gonna kill some of the caravans now. And we're gonna keep making woats. Uh, and these guys we're gonna send over to here, and these guys we're gonna send over to destroy these, and just keep going at it. And that's it! Basically you're almost done here, as you can see the town, ce town centers and everything, all the all the buildings go down super fast with this approach. You always... Uh, I always prefer to go for building damage because... Uh, as you can see the vaults are just... Just... Monsters. And we are around to 9 minutes and we already have... Uh, most of the base down. And we're gonna go here, destroy this, we're gonna destroy this town sent this um, place, and this thing is done and dusted here. And we forgot to use our power, so what we're gonna do is increase the damage. That has a huge impact, I could have done that earlier, but... I don't forget by the other one. It's usually very easy to forget to do the rights because the woes are already super powerful anyway, so... But as you can see, mo like we're clearing out all of the base in minutes. Uh, not even seconds, actually, to be honest. Now we're gonna delete these two units because we don't need them anymore. And they're just using population that we could be using to make votes. Okay, this uh, building is done and dusted, so we're gonna kill the rest of these and we're gonna kill the rest of these here oh no oh well okay i'm gonna take 30 of them here that's it two bases and two uh, of those um, buildings that uh, those camps already done and dusted. Okay. 
we have this down here. I prefer to usually surround them because it's the best way to attack. Okay, send some over here on this side and send some on the other side. I'm gonna send these over to here and they're gonna kill out these elephants and this down sent this uh, a fortress here and then these guys are gonna take out this uh, here. And we have an opening there as well now. Okay, super. So now we're gonna go here and we're gonna go, everybody's gonna go here. And we're gonna make more barracks because we want as many barracks as possible for this battle here. Uh, okay, and we're gonna do increased damage again. And we're gonna go here and destroy these uh, barracks. And we're gonna destroy the town centers. This town, this uh, fortress is going down. Super, that's great. That helps with the lack of the reducing the population. We gotta take out all of these buildings here so that we don't make keep making people. We want to take out these camps here. And we want to take out these buildings again. And perfect. And burn the buildings so they don't make people. And that's it. One more town center down. And now we're going to make spearmen. And as you can see, we're actually devastating everything. But we want to also... Super, we want to destroy the last barracks because that barracks will be really irritating if we don't destroy it. And it's gone, it's down. And this is the power of these things, they're just burning through the buildings. And now that's the last cooldown, but it's okay. Okay, super. Super, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send these over here and we're gonna destroy everything here. Uh, we wanna destroy these towers because they're gonna be in the way of this. We're low on food, so that's no good. That's it, you basically send everybody in now to kill this guy here. And the best is the spearman, as you can see. And these little guys are making people, so that's not very nice of you. You should be dying. And we've done it with four minutes to go. Three minutes and a half to go. And actually, we can make long swords as well now because they're not much more effective at killing the infantry so we're gonna do that and we're gonna now take away the rest of the forts but uh, take away the rest of the um, raiders but the most important thing I think to remember here is that you should take out the you really should like very fast take out the uh, buildings because if they have all the buildings then you really have a problem it's just gonna be that much slower if you if they have the buildings left over uh, and it just it gets irritating if they have the buildings left over to be fair and as you can see they build more buildings which is even more irritating, but it's okay. We're gonna send these guys in to Kamikaze and uh, and destroy those buildings. 
and these guys are sent to here to destroy them. The uh, villagers are very important to kill uh, in the base if you can kill them because uh, without the villagers they can't do anything. So, almost done. Just want to see the rewards as well. I'm going to share them with you guys just so that you s check whether or not it actually works doing any of this. And now last one here, uh, over here, over here, this, so that's one, two, three, four, yeah? Okay, and you guys can have some fun and kill the rest of these buildings. I personally prefer, before attacking anything, I personally prefer to do it like this, uh, surround them and then this way. Uh, They get so much damage. And actually, let's have a look. 9.01. That is just crazy the amount of damage we've discovered. Like, it's just it's just crazy. And the, what really makes a huge difference on these guys is is this. This is actually huge. Makes a huge difference. It's just unbelievable. That's it. Yeah. Four five chests are done. And what did we get? We got a bit of gold, some points, and nothing. Much less, really. Just uh, some gold and some epics. So, that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening to me today again. Um, I hope this was informative and it helped you make a decision on how to do size, as you saw, sub-20 minutes, including all of the, 20, uh, all of the five chests, uh, plus all the rewards, okay? Okay, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Till next time.